so this is just the um, 0.4 update or DK2 update of the uh, Rift template for UE4. I'll just go straight into it and just show the new features. Uh, it's going to be a pretty quick video because um, it's just features to do with uh, uh, DK2's positional tracking. So we'll just jump in, Alt Enter, go full screen. I'm in um, direct mode at the moment, so it is being shown in the Rift as well as the monitor. Um, so there's safety warning, just get rid of that. We've got the main menu. Get rid of that as well. Um, the first thing you'll need to do to get uh, position, positional tracking support to work is um, reset orientation and position. Uh, so we, I've got that mapped currently to Shift R. So I'll just press that, and you can see we've got the um, same characters before as the head tracking. But now, because of Rift positional tracking, we also have the body IK system, which works well. So I can move it backwards, forwards, left and right, and move along with it. Um, next thing I've done is uh, camera bounds thing. I don't think there was a built-in function in UE4, so I made one. Um, so you can see as I start getting out of the bounds, it'll just dim the screen, um, just so it lets the users know. Um, it also works for getting too close, and then it just pops back in. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's a couple of other things for detecting whether you're in a wall or not, um, and I've just cleaned up. I've got rid of the um, head bob and the first person as they're, they're just getting too much to manage and I don't think anyone used them anyway because head bob is pretty much a no-no now in VR. Um, so that's basically 0.4 update. Um, check out the Space Shooters one, there's a lot more content in that um, for the update. Anyway, uh, see you next time.